Well, uh, just tell the story that they can relate to. So you're not targeting total Jeffries. You're targeting, for example, the guy who's already going to the gym three times a week, five times a week. So you can still tell, okay, well, you tell the story. I was going to the gym five times a week, but I wasn't making the progress that I, I wanted to. It was so weird. I was seeing guys, I don't know if it was genetic. No, like, you know, I, I don't want to be like a pussy. It wasn't genetics, but there was guys who were just making more progress than me. And that's when I watched this random video and I learned about this, this more advanced tactic. And that's when I made the, the notion template and, you know, the extra like, like, so it's, you're still telling stories of the past, but obviously you don't want to go so far in the past. Cause it's just, it gets ridiculous yeah. then. It's like, I'm not going to tell a story of like, oh yeah, guys, when I was five years old, I learned how to walk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Good one. Yeah. That's a good question, man. So for, for storytelling, a point is tell the story that your audience can actually relate to with the pain and the stage that they're in right now. And you can usually tell like who a creator is trying to get as his audience by the stories he tells now you can still tell a story for, for for example if i tell a story from childhood doesn't mean that i'm trying to like get children to watch my videos but it's still because it's relatable to you so if i tell a story from childhood oh i used to play you know this computer game on the old com like box computer with the monitor and the pull out keyboard it's like i'm talking about childhood but it's like pretty much most of the guys here would relate to that right like playing the computer games literally 15 years ago but it's important to really clarify to yourself, who are you currently trying to attract? For the guys who have made their school communities, that's the answer right there. It's okay, well, who would you want to join your school community? What, what stage of your development would you want to join? Like what version of you, let's say for Elias, what version of Elias would we want to join the school community? Because you can't just say like, oh yeah, the one who's like a, a billionaire or something. Cause he's not going to respect you, right? Like he thinks you're like a dumbass right now, not right? Truth. So it's like, what, what stage of Elias are you trying to attract into your community? Like you said, it's probably the one who's, for example, he's already been on NoFap to the point that he doesn't even like think about NoFap at all. He doesn't play, play video games, doesn't watch porn, all that stuff. But the problem he's currently having is that he's going to the gym. Maybe he's training a little bit too hard. Maybe he's going to the gym, but now he's like, he's went on the other side of the bell curve where he's weighing each individual gram of rice and he's starting to like lose love with his life. And, you know, he's getting so autistically detailed that he's actually losing some progress. So it's very important that you clarify who you're trying to attract in what exact position of life they're in and um, speak to them. Think about what stories they'd find interesting. So, for example, like my channel saw the biggest rise when I was totally honest. And I realized that like the younger Hamza version I, I was trying to help, who I could help the most, was the one who was obsessed with girls. And so when I started to make more videos on girls, those perform like crazy. When I tell a, a story on me either getting a girl or not getting a girl or getting ignored or not getting ignored or any of these things, those videos performed hugely because I was finally speaking to the, like the, the version of me that counts. And you know, I'll, I'll tell you a quick story. Very recently for the last like few months, I've stopped doing that. I got almost like bullied, like I'm not a victim or anything, but I'm not a pussy, but like almost like bullied out of doing this practice of like really speaking to my younger self. My younger self only cared about pussy. He was only going to click on a dating video. When I made dating videos, they were getting so many views. The channel was going like crazy, but I kept on seeing comments of people saying like, oh no, you know, like, oh, dating's not important guys. You know, just be a Sigma male grind set and just focus on other things. And I got too influenced by that. So this might happen to yourself. You might get captured by the audience. You, what might happen is you might be making the right videos for the person that you're trying to help. But there'll be some people who don't exactly fit completely into like your target audience who will be watching, who will be subscribed and they'll kind of like reinforce or, you know, kind of like they'll, they'll, um, there's a phrase, what's that phrase? Uh, sand or shave, you know, when you get sandpaper and you kind of like do it till it like kind of sh reshapes itself, scrub, no, 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 there's a, a real, like, it's like a design shape. Mold. mold is a word we can say, yeah. Your audience will mold you more than you realize up until you become a person that you didn't even like plan to be. And if you're doing YouTube to make a brilliant impact, to have some creative outlet that you enjoy and to make a lot of money doing it, you really don't want this to happen. What you want to happen is that you stay protected from the comments and the influence of these people 
because you're just trying to help your younger self. For most of my journey, I was safe away from this and I focused entirely on just helping younger Hamza. I think that's why I got to the success. I didn't overthink so much through the entire journey. All I would ask myself is like, how do I help younger Hamza? What videos do I make for younger Hamza? That's it. 